What can Ismail Seles bring to your training team that you didn't have for the first bed you fight? Um, he's trying to bring out my natural attributes. You know, he started from the feet up. You know, first off, he was unhappy with how my my legs were moving, happy with my leg positioning, how I how my hips were, rotation. He's literally worked from the bottom up. Um, it's such a shame that the first fight that didn't happen in in December because I I, in, I was I felt as good as I've ever felt before. Freak accidents happen, unfortunately, but here we are. So we just carried on, carried on the, the good training we'd done prior to that fight. We just kept it going. So um, in hindsight, you know, it's an unfortunate thing that happened, but it just gives me a little bit longer to sort of uh, streamline and to focus on the new things, the new movements, the new punch sequences that I've been working with Ishmael Salas for. Have you been or will you be sparring Joe Joyce in preparation for this? No, no, no. Joe Joyce and... Um, uh, Tony Bellew are very different propositions. You know what? You know, I try to get people who replicate um, as best as possible um, Tony Bellew on coming forward. For instance, I'll have someone similar stature to, to Tony Bellew who comes forward. They've got someone else who moves away. So to, to, to mix that in as well, to no matter what um, Tony Bellew brings, that I'm physically prepared for that. Are there benefits to training alongside someone like Joe Joyce, though? Someone who's young, heavyweight coming through. Yeah, yeah, it does. We do a lot of circuits together and stuff. So, you know, he's got a crazy engine. So he, he you know, just keeping up with Joe. <laughs> You no, know, he's, he's not that much younger than me. He's 32, but you know he's very fresh and um, he's, a very, he's he's got a huge engine. So if I can keep up with Joe Joyce, I'm fine.